Hey guys, welcome back. So got a get ready with me video for y'all today and it's on this look right here. So again, I was just playing around with some new makeup, especially some new drugstore goodies and this is the look that I ended up coming up with. So it's pretty dramatic. <laughs> I don't know, just sometimes that happens with my makeup. So blue eye look, gold on my lower lash line, kind of matches my shirt today. Some of you guys have asked me, like, do I do my makeup first or pick out my outfit first or which comes first because a lot of times I match them. Most of the time I do my makeup first and then match my outfit to it. So today I had an idea that I wanted to play with blue and gold. I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, but I knew I wanted to play with those colors. So that's why I picked this shirt. So. Most of the time, I pick my makeup first. So, blah, 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 blah. That was a tangent. This is the makeup look that I did today, so stay tuned if you want to get ready with me. Okay, I'm going to start with some moisturizer. This is the Derma E Purifying Oil-Free Moisturizer Activated Charcoal. I mentioned before, I like this. It's very, like, thin and just feels nice for every day, like daytime, because it's light. I think most everything that I'm going to use today is drugstore, except for this. I really wanted to use this today. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. So I'm just kind of trying this out and still forming my thoughts on it. So I wanted to use it today. It smells... I don't know. It smells like some kind of candy, and I can't think of what, but not like a sweet candy, like a... Man, what does that smell like? Like one of those, oh, not Smarties, but one of those like powdery little, I don't know, things. That's what it reminds me of, but I can't pinpoint what that is. So it does have some kind of a scent. Um, I mean, it's it does seem to kind of like blur. It's supposed to like help out with fix the signs of bad face day. <laughs> Fatigue, dullness, dehydration, puffiness and fine lines. So I mean, I do think it helps. I never feel like a primer is like, wow, for the most part, I'm learning to like primers better. So I can see a little bit of a difference with this. For foundation, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Fresh Face Liquid Foundation on the go, and I have it in 10 porcelain. And I'm gonna apply it with my Sephora Mineral Powder 45 brush. Chester, you scared me. I see the door open before he walks in. So it's just like the door is opening on its own. And then I see that it's him. So Chester has joined us. What you been doing? Hmm? You never want to come over here and say hi. He just likes to be around in the area, you know? But not like come over here or anything. He's just going to lay down and hang out with us. So that is one light layer. Now I'm going to apply a little bit more, mainly in like the middle part of my face. Now I'm going to apply some eye primer. Today I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to skip through my brows because I do have a brow routine on my channel. I'll link it for you in a card. But I'm going to use my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade and my NYX Micro Brow Brow Pencil. Okay, so I wanna use this palette today, but it really doesn't have a good transition shade. It has a matte kind of pinky color, but that's really not the shade that I wanna to use today. So I'm gonna use this. This is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster, and this one is the matte sculpting. I'm gonna use some of this middle shade on a Sedona Lace EB15 brush, and just apply some of that into my crease. Really, really like this palette. I like it on my face and I like it on my eyes too. I think it's just really versatile. Like these have such a nice texture to them. They are soft, so they do kick up a lot of product in the pan, but I feel like they perform well on the face. So I like this thing. So I don't know what this is gonna do, but we're playing here together. So I wanna play with this blue. So I'm gonna get some of this blue on a Wet n Wild small concealer brush. And I'm gonna tap that off a little bit and apply this all over my lids. Okay, so there is just regular. So now I'm gonna get some of it and use some Fix Plus. I'm losing my voice <laughs> and see what happens. Oh, oh my goodness, that made a difference. So if you want it kicked up a notch, apply it with a mixing medium. Wow. So I do have 
some fallout, so I'm gonna kind of try to wipe that away. But I like that. I think it's fun. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of my crease shade. This is a Cosette D220 brush. And just doing a little bit of blending here. Kind of melding those colors together. Now I wanna deepen up the outer corners just a tiny little bit, so I'm literally going to tap twice, I think, into the black and apply that to the outer corner. This is some kind of a little crease brush from CVS. Now I'm gonna apply some of this creamy shade to my brow bone. Oh, that was a lot. That was too much. Turn that brush around so you don't have too much. <laughs> if you have too much on one side, turn it around and blend with the other side. For my lower lash line, I should really go get a gold eyeliner, but Chester's still sleeping in here, and if I get up and leave, he's gonna leave with me, and then he won't be in here with me anymore. So, I'm just gonna not use liner on my lower lash line. I'm gonna get, he's spoiled, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna get some of this gold on a Luxie 220 flat definer brush, and I'm gonna spray it with MAC Fix Plus to intensify it and just apply that to my lower lash line. And then in the outer corner, I'm gonna get some of this deepest shade in this Physicians Formula Trio and apply that. I also forgot my eyelash curler in here, so not gonna curl my lashes today. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara on my upper lashes and I'm gonna apply a lot of it because I feel like this takes a lot of building I like the end result, but it takes a lot of coats, at least for me personally. And then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. Okay, for concealer today, I'm gonna use this new one from CoverGirl. This is the Outlast All Day Soft Touch, and I got it in Fair. So it's like a little squeezy tube situation, so it actually squeezed up pretty easily, so I get some of that and I'm going to use my Sedona Lace 773 brush to blend this in. Oh, it's kind of like it squeezes out and then it like goes back in. So you kind of have to like keep it squeezed. Okay, so I'm glad that I got the fair because this is like a good color and I could have probably even gone a little bit lighter, but that was the lightest. Oh, this works. No, this is good. Cool. Pretty decent coverage with one coat with a brush. So it says about this, a concealer with a soft touch tip for gentle application and a lasting formula that gives you a smooth matte finish that lasts all day. Instantly erase the appearance of dark circles and blemishes, oil-free and won't clog pores. Soft touch applicator helps erase the appearance of dark circles. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more with my finger and see kind of how that does, if I can get a little bit more coverage. And then for powder, I'm gonna use this one. This is new from CoverGirl 2. This is the Outlast All Day Matte Finishing Powder, and I got Fair to Light, so here's the outside packaging on that. So it came with a little sponge, but I'm gonna use a brush. Let me see what it says on the back. Lightweight, silky smooth powder formula that gives a perfectly matte finish. Helps control shine hour after hour. Matte, shine, control. Oil-free, won't clog pores. So it doesn't necessarily say, you know, I have to use a little sponge. So, I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Blush Brush. That's pretty, I like that powder. It's not like crazy super matte, but just has a nice finish to it. I like that a lot, but I need some color on my face because I'm looking real pale right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the trio. I'm gonna use this middle one on a Sedona Lace FB05 and kind of contour and bronze up my face a little bit. For up on my forehead, I'm gonna do just a little dab of the um, warmer shade and then tap it on the back of my hand because it's pretty pigmented, but I want just a little bit of warmth up on my forehead. For blush today, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Blush Palette. I'm gonna get some of this peachy shade on the end here on a MAC 
angled something or other brush and you just apply that. I really, really love this blush palette. It's nice, it's pigmented, it wears well. Fun, very bright, but still fun colors. Um, the only negative I have to say is that it's pretty pricey. I think it's like $16.99 or $17.99. So that is up there. I'll take my foundation brush and blend out the edges on that just a little bit. Then for highlighter today, I'm gonna to use this palette from Sephora. This is the Illuminate Luminizing Palette. And I'm gonna take this gold shade right here on a Delium Tools 944 brush and just apply that to my cheekbones. Maybe a little bit on my nose and maybe a little bit on my cupid's bow, but mainly on my cheekbones. And I do wanna brighten up my inner corners just a little bit. So I'm gonna take a combo of this one and this one on that same brush that I used earlier for my eye look, but I just really wiped it off a lot. It's that small concealer brush from Wet n Wild. Now that's an optional step. You don't have to do that because it does kind of kick up the drama a little bit. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna use this Maybelline Baby Lips Color Balm. And this is in Toasted Taupe. I was gonna use my Wet n Wild lip liner in Dare to Comment, and I don't know where it went. It like grew legs and walked off somewhere. So that would work really well with this, but I don't have that. So just gonna go with this. Alright guys, that's the finished look. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you've been playing with recently. What are some go-to looks that you've been wearing lately? I'd love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So all this talk about Chessie Chesterson we had to show you on camera. It's been a long time since you've been in a video. I know. You kind of match the yellow in mommy's shirt, except you're more orange. You're so pretty. So say hello. <laughs> he had a very good nap while we got ready with each other. Got ready together. I got ready, he napped. So thanks for hanging out with us, Jesse. See y'all later, bye.